In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a CSV file into Postgres SQL using pgadmin4. So the first thing that you want to do, and so you, you can see that I have like the databases, and then I created this test database where I'm going to import the CSV file. And so if I go down here to schemas, and then tables, notice how when I expand the tables, there's no tables in this database yet. So I need to create a table, and then I'm going to import the CSV data into that table. So I'm going to right click on tables, go to create table, and then I need to give the table a name, so I'm just going to call the table test data. I think everything else can just stay how it is, depending on what you need. You might need to change some of these things. But what you do need to do is put in column names. If I look at the data that I'm importing, so this is my CSV file, and notice how my column names are X and Y. And go back up here. So I need to specify these column names. And the other thing I need to do is I need to specify the data type that I have in the table for each column. So if I go back to here, go to add, and the first column was named X. As far as data type, these were integers. So I'm gonna put integer and then I need to add the Y column, and then that Y is also, the data in the Y column is also in an integer based. Put that, and then none of these are a primary key, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, you can look through some of these other things. The one thing to look at is you can create this with SQL code. So just keep in mind that this code is here to create the table, so save that. So if you were to go to table and then you can go to the query tool and you could technically, you could put that code in directly to create the table. So that's another way that you can create the table. All right, so we have our table created right here. Now what I want to do is import the data. So I'm going to right click on my table name, which is test data, and then go to import export. And I want to change this box here that says import export to import. I need the file name, so I'm going to go find it. And it's actually already here, so select that and select and then and the other thing is I want to show you this you can either go through so if you click on these three dots you can either go through these menu system to find your file and or which is what I did or the other thing you can do is if you find the file so this is where the file is. So if I right click on the file, I can go to properties and then get the path from here. So the location. And then you can just copy and paste this path directly into pgadmin4 for, for right here for your file name. Okay, and then it's a CSV file and it has headers, so I need to select yes on that. And then you need to select the delimiter. So since it's a CSV file, the delimiter is a comma, and then say okay. And it's showing that it successfully completed. So I can check and see, and it looks like the table has columns now, and the columns are X and Y. So I can go into the query and just verify that it imported the data from the CSV file. So I can say select 
I'm going to select all columns from, and then the table name is test data. Hit run. And there it is. So this is the data. So I have the X and Y columns and the data that was imported from that CSV file. If you found this video helpful, please hit like or subscribe. And thanks for watching.